Hello and welcome to traders and investors. I'm glad to present to you the daily market preview prepared by analysts and experts from avax.co portal. Here we go. Today is March 22. The central event of the day is the announcement of the Federal Reserve's decision on interest rates. More details with Jakub Novak. Markets await how the Fed plans to deal with high inflation and the current banking sector crisis. Most believe that Chairman Jerome Powell will try to balance the two. By that, it's rather difficult to achieve. While many economists expect a quarter-point interest rate hike, some are convinced that the central bank should take a pause in order to strengthen its financial stability. Of course, an increase of even a quarter point will not significantly alter the balance of power in both the stock and currency markets. But a pause in the cycle of monetary policy tightening is another matter entirely. The third also has to decide how far they are prepared to go in order to bring inflation back to the target level as quickly as possible, while risking further turmoil in the banking sector. Three regional banks have already announced bankruptcy and there is no guarantee that such problems will not recur in any time soon. Another important element of the meeting is the updated RAF focus for this year. At the moment, the markets estimate an 80% chance that the Fed will raise rates by a quarter point to 5%, the highest level since 2007 on the eve of the global financial crisis. In fact, expectations have dwindled over the past two weeks amid the collapse of three regional US banks and the takeover of Credit Suisse in Switzerland. As long as the US banking sector problems remain under control, officials are expected to continue or even potentially intensify their campaign to raise interest rates and curb price increases. Clearly, there are no easy solutions. Powell could signal that the Fed is unsure about the soundness of the banking system of the economy and point to problems that are not yet visible to the market. A rate hike could increase stress for banks and spook investors, which would also discourage them from buying risky assets. In any case, whichever scenario Jerome Powell chooses, the market will be subject to stress. The most important guideline will be the market reaction to everything that is going on, as the third chairman's statements can be interpreted in different ways. It's best to wait for the planned decisions and then, after analysis, enter the market. Our next stage is... Euro dollar pair with Jakub Novak. But first, let's have a look on 5 minute chart for analyzing yesterday's transactions. When the pair tested 1.0720, the MACD line was already far from zero, so the upside potential was limited. No other market signal appeared for the rest of the day. Lackluster data from the ZEW Institute did not stop Yara from rallying on Tuesday, most probably because traders are expecting the Fed to make surprising decisions on monetary policy. And although ahead are the ECB's report on current account balance, followed by speeches from ECB members Christine Lagarde, Philippe Lane and Fabio Panetta, they are of little interest to the market. Thus, they will do nothing to change the situation ahead of the third meeting. The upcoming FOMC decision is very important as it could lead to a sharp weakening of dollar and rise in euro, provided that the committee refuses to raise rates at the meeting. The accompanying statement and economic outlook will provide insight into future monetary policy. By euro, for long positions when the quote reaches 1.0777 and take profit at the price of 1.0814. Growth is possible only if the third loosens its monetary policy. However, make sure that when buying, 
the MACD line is above zero or is starting to rise from it. Euro can also be bought at 1.0746, but the MACD line should be in an oversold area. As only by that will the market reverse to 1.0777 and 1.0814. For short positions, sell euro when the quote reaches 1.0746 and take profit at the price of 1.0709. Pressure will return if ECB chief Christine Lagarde withdraws from her tough stance on monetary policy. However, when selling, make sure that the MACD line is under zero or is starting to move down from it. Euro can also be sold at 1.0777, but the MACD line should be at this time in the overbought area as only by that will the market reverse to 1.0746 and 1.0709. Here's another major GBBUSD pound sterling dollar pair. The forecast is presented by Sebastian Seliga. The GBBUSD pair has made a new swing high at the level of 1.2283 and then the bear started the pullback. Currently, the pullback is done with a low at the level of 1.2178. And just ahead of the UK CPI data release, the bulls are trying to resume the uptrend. The momentum is strong and positive, so the outlook remains bullish as the market conditions are not extremely overbought on the H4 timeframe chart anymore. In the case of a further extensions to the upside, the next target for bulls is seen at the level of 1.2396 and 1.2447, swing high. Gold, sweet gold. The trading plan for this commodity asset is presented by Dimitris Tapas. Market sentiments and risk aversion have been factors behind gold falling by almost $50 in the last 24 hours. From 1987 to 1935.27. Another reason for gold falling is that U.S. Treasury yields are rising. The 10-year U.S. Treasury yield stands at 3.606%. A correction is highly probable which could enable the gold price to bounce above 1937. The Federal Reserve is widely expected to increase the funds rate by 25 basis points. Investors are betting on this policy move and it's likely that the market has already discounted. The focus will be on comments by Chairman Jerome Powell, which could trigger strong volatility in gold at the time of his speech. A more aggressive command could strengthen the US dollar and gold could fall towards the psychological level of 1900. Technically, gold has found support around 68 Murray located at 1937. If it trades above this level, in the next few hours it's likely that it could reach the area of the daily pivot point of around 1953 and could even reach the 21 SMA located at 19. 58. 
In case this scenario comes true, we could buy gold above 1937 with targets at about 1958. A pullback to the 21 SMA located at 1958 is expected to occur, which will give us an opportunity to sell with targets at about 1937. If bearish pressure persists, the instrument could drop to 1906 and even lower to the psychological level of 1900. How to trade the flat range for gold, Petr Rikimovich describes. Gold has been trading sideways at the price of 1941, and Petar sees potential for the breakout mode. In case of the breakout of the resistance level at 1945, Petar sees potential for the rally towards upside references at 1963.20. In case of a breakout of support level at 19.35, Petar sees potential for the downside movement towards lower reference at 19.15.27. At the end of our review, here is Laurie Bailey with USD GPY pair focused. Let's have a look. After breaking the support of the MACD indicator line on the daily chart, the USD GPY pair rose by 116 pips on Tuesday. This morning, the price is testing the resistance of the balance indicator line, the red line on graphic. The Marlin oscillator is slowly rising. It is hampered by its current location in the area of the downtrend. Today's Federal Reserve rate hike of 25 or 50 basis points will strengthen in the price's growth and the target level of 134.08 the price hyperchannel line of the monthly time frame may be reached. The pair consolidating above this level may develop the growth in the medium term. The target is 138.00. On the 4-hour chart, the price convergence with the oscillator, stimulates the dollar to break through the MACD line 133.10. If it succeeds, the pair can reach the 134.08 target. That's all for today. See you soon online. Good luck.